Hey guys, um, so, I had mentioned this in one of the previous videos. Ooh, let's see if we can... There we go. Anyway, um, I mentioned in one of the previous videos that I had found this game watching the video. I didn't save it. My bad. There we go. Um, that I had found this game watching somebody, and I was intrigued by it, so I was like, you know what? Um, it was only ten bucks uh, when I looked at it on Steam, and I, I think it's a cute looking game, um, and it looks right up my alley. Um, it's a timer clock. Okay, so anyway, uh, I figured we'd try it. Um, so it's called Founder's Fortune, uh, it is still in alpha, so like they're, you know, testing and, and, uh, tweaking and adding things to the game and all that stuff, um, which could be our very first rant, um, getting into this, but I think there's some stuff I need to look at first, key bindings, forward back, okay, so standard, rotate, Middle mouse button, okay. Rotate left, rotate right, Q, E. Okay, zoom in, zoom. Oh, although I can probably also do that with the wheel. On F, floor up and floor down. I promise I've played games like this before. It won't take me, take me very long. I just, it always takes a, a moment. Multiple villagers select. Shift left, multiple orders. Okay. Uh, furniture, hand wing. Alright, we'll figure it out. It looks it looks very similar to um Rimworld, if you've ever played that. Um we'll keep this stuff how it is. We'll play the first way. Okay, so it looks like we got some traits. And maybe I can control traits. Oh well, first playthrough. We're just, I don't want a pessimist, that's all I know. Killer. Ooh, that could be good. Flu treatment, animal lover. Okay, we're gonna stick with that one. Allergic to apples. I don't know if that's a problem. Let's vegetarian, okay. Live your life. You don't know what you're missing. Lactose intolerant. Screw it. Alright, we're, we're just going to get into it. it, it this will be our first test. And to be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to record a series doing this or not. Um, sometimes I just like to play video games and not have to talk and stuff. Um, so anyway, uh, this could be a nice little area. It's open. Crystals, what is that? Uh, just, just stone, iron, cotton, sheep that you can probably... Oh, I chose a vegetarian, though. Hmm. So anyway, yeah, it seemed like a cute, like a cute game. Um, pigs... Okay, where are my people? Oh, I was almost there. Okay. Um Bonfire Research Stand Bonfire. Alright, we'll start with this. Probably need sleeping bags. Back it for raw food, sure. Um character traits. Yeah, this looks like something I'm looking for. Okay, so she's a good farmer. And you are bad at everything. Okay. So who's that bottom? Berta. You're gonna become a forester. Okay. Uh, 
Sistina Instruct. So anyway, I'm fully expecting to make mistakes. Um, games like this, there's usually a good, you know, for instance, she's not wanting to work. Um, okay, RimWorld usually had a equipment, storage. This is just resources. We'll get into that later. Okay. Um, Something like this. We'll adjust it, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do a little bit of this. And then eat. Four hours of socialize. Mm. We don't got that kind of time. All right. Um. Textiles, cotton, cloth. Okay, become fauna, gather. No, how do we, have a, we need a house. We need a house before we get into this stuff. We need a place to live. Um, house, duh. We got this. We got this, guys. I promise. I have an idea of what I'm doing. Um, grid squares. Grid squares are going this way. Okay, we'll build one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, Ten by eleven to start out. You don't want it to be too small, but you also don't want it to be something that you can't get built relatively quickly. Um, on one side, and then I also know just from experience with games like this, I'll probably want to expand later. So this is just a starting point. Anyway, Christina, I need you to construct. Um, and then what is nice about games like this, right? Like there's gonna be a moment here where I like they just have to collect resources. Um, so anyway, um, oh. And so what that does, is it gives me time to talk. All right. So anyway, um, we're gonna give this game a go. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not too certain. Like this might just be a game that I play in my own time. What are you doing? Ooh, new migrants already. Um, well, since you just wanna loaf around, I suppose you can go do that. Oh, you know what? It's Seven o'clock. I bet that. Yep. That's why they're not doing anything. Okay, well, anyway, we need to construct this house. So, Anton, get to work. Okay, and hopefully he does that. And then, ah, okay, so it. It seems like there's a lot more micromanagement going in this game than, say, like RimWorld. Like, I keep saying that you probably might not know what that game is either. Um, very similar, very similar concept, it feels like so far. Um, I was thinking maybe a more simplified, more streamlined version of it. Uh, based on the art style and stuff, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, so anyway, we have to 
Berta expects a little more of this colony. Migrants will only come when the expectations of colonists are filled. So these have to be, I'm assuming, red, yellow, probably green to get more people. And then we fulfill these things in order to get them there. And then she started doing cotton because job list to the farmer. Okay, priority. And then she, Berta, started, she's a forester. And then Anton doesn't have a job yet, so he's focused on, okay. <laughs> cheer, go cheer Anton on. No, go build the house. Um, Oh. Anyway, we're going to plow through the stuff that I know needs to happen, and then, where's the bed? There we go. And now I can take a minute and kind of look at this other stuff. So miscellaneous resources, books, beer. Oh, okay, because that's an important thing. Got to have beer. Crystals are gems with many interesting properties. The colonists can gather and study them as a way of doing research. Okay, and I need to need a research book stand. Store of work and a book stand. Um, e. There we go. And then there's socializing. Is it that time of day already? You're lucky. Um, oh, is this how? Is this how you get a pet? You just wander into your house. I actually had that happen to me. Uh, so I guess interesting story. Um, maybe interesting. I don't know. Depends on your definition. But, um, what are you doing? Go to the bed. Uh, I was living in Houston, and I can't remember if I was teaching at the time or if I was still working at Walgreens. Um, but whatever the situation was, I came home. I had groceries, and I was, like, carrying them in from the car, um, and then I sat down on the couch, and I was about to relax after getting off work, and all of a sudden, the biggest, like, just tomcat, um, and so, like, what I mean by that, I mean, like, just thick, muscular, like, like definitely getting enough protein out in the wild. I assume it was a wild cat because it wasn't my cat. But anyway, I'm sitting there and I go to flip the TV on and all of a sudden this cat jumps in my lap and freaked me out. Um, and it was all like, it was friendly and it was loving to like, you know, wanting pets and stuff. And um, it actually let me t snap a photo of it, you know, and I sent it to my wife and I was like, is this how you get a cat? Um... And then I guess she was like, oh, yeah, he, he's come inside before. Um, so anyway, I, I named him Curious George. Wasn't my cat. Um, but he would, come, he would come in from time to time. And uh, wants to sit on a chair. And wants a chair in her house. Interesting. Anyway, you... I'm going to go get this because I want to research and I need to select and we'll go with farming because that seems important. And actually, I'm going to have you gather crystals too so that we can make this faster, hopefully. So anyway, this, this big old big old alley cat would come inside every once in a while and uh 
eat some food, get some lovings, and then he would go back to the door and he'd meow and like one out. And um, so I, I called him Curious George because I don't know what type of animal just wanders into someone's home like they own the place. Um, but he was a cool cat. He would come in every once in a while. Um, become a scholar. Analyze crystal. And I'm hoping that means okay, spinning wheel one out of five, so he does that five times and I know farming. Okay. Got that in the bag. Berta, why are you so lazy? Every time I turn around, not doing your job. Oh, it's okay. Let's see what other things we got. Graves, that's reassuring. Farming, I'm working on. Either tables. These are stools. Does that count as a chair? Bench. I don't know. We've got the wood. We'll go ahead and build a bench just for giggles. And then farming's almost done. And I'll have Christina become a farmer because that's what she likes doing. And then life satisfaction. A loom. Work. Loom. There we go. Anton, no. Do this. Oh, you figured it out. Okay. That was quick. Sorry. I shouldn't have yelled. My bad. Alright. Um, is there a way... I want you to go construct... I want you to go research, but is there a way, scholar, drop down, I don't want you mining crystal, I just want you doing research, and then what tasks do you have? Hmm. Plant trees, interesting, alright. And break. Kind of like crystal. Let's do that. Let's do this. And then pause. I need to think for a minute. Um, farming. What do I have? Tomatoes. Spring and summer. And I'm currently in spring. And then summer and fall. Okay, so we need food now. I can't see it. Okay, so up and down. Um. This was 10. I just, I don't want it to look ugly. This is the part of the game that I always get, like, bogged down in. So, one, two, path, blank, crop, one, two, three, four, five, Uh, three, four, five. Like that, and then we'll go ahead and blank path blank path. This will make sense in a little bit, or maybe it won't. I don't know. Four, five. But we'll have potatoes, and we'll have tomatoes. I feel like Samji. 
um, I can't remember his name, um, from Lord of the Rings. Potato? Good movies if you haven't seen them. You should nerd out. Let's see what this button does. Oh, okay. Only cut what I designate. Oh, pause. Alright. Uh. Trees. Cut those. And then I'm thinking we'll clear and like maybe do like a wall coming through here. And then this will be our village. Um, I don't know if trees regrow or what, because, like, one of the skills of the forester was replanting, um, these, and these, I'm not sure if this is necessary or not. They've been doing the work without me having to do this, but, and then what, this is, oh, food? Okay. Um, I think these count. You don't eat cotton, but whatever. And then, ooh, I'm down to five food. Okay, where is Anton? I need you to help. Christina, sow tomatoes. Okay. Oh. Level one forester, yippee ki yay! No, 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 no. How about this? And then, oh, that is episode one. So we're gonna push pause and stop the recording.